Our story starts in the present day at a nearby school. Hey, wanna come with me to see the Dragon Ball attraction at UMJ? I'm asking a few others too. Yeah, sounds great, let's go. Wait, who else are you asking? Any girls? We need girls, man. I'll try, but don't get your hopes up. I'm counting on you. A girl who loves Dragon Ball would be perfect for me. I came first place in a Dokkan battle event yesterday. Really? That's crazy. I barely got any sleep as a result. You've always hated losing. You should apply that mindset to studying. Lay off, dude. You know, Yamcha was surprisingly useful. Yamcha of all people. <laughs> the two students continue walking home when suddenly they realize... Oh? Check out that chick! Her skirt is way too short. What? I need to take a closer look! Dude, she'll kill you. As the boy runs down at full speed, he suddenly trips. Oh no. Hey! Are you okay? Hang in there! Hey! Hey! My, uh, huh? What's with this outfit? Ah, I have a mirror. <gasps> I'm Yamcha? This scenery is straight out of Dragon Ball. Is this the attraction? No, no, no. I don't recall arriving at UMJ. So I finished school for the day then. Oh yeah, there was that chick in the miniskirt. I ran after her then. I lost my footing going down the stairs on the bridge then. After that, I don't remember anything. There's lots of stories where the protagonist dies and wakes up in another world. It's kind of like that. Is that what this is? I tried to see her panties, fell down the stairs and died. And was reborn as Yamcha? Could that even really happen in real life? It's ridiculous, I mean... Why Yamcha? I wish I could have been Goku or Vegeta instead! Morning. Things got pretty crazy yesterday. Huh? It's Oolong! He's real? W what? Is something wrong? Huh? To the side of this new Yamcha, he spots a young Bulma. It's Bulma! She's so cute in real life. Goku is cute too. But no wait, she's the cutest girl I've ever seen. Hold on a sec, don't Bulma and Yamcha become a couple after this? Which means me and her. I've never had a girlfriend, what do I do? Ulon looks on puzzled. She dumped Yamcha because he apparently cheated on her. I'm gonna devote my whole life to Bulma. Ah, uh, I'm getting excited. Meanwhile, Bulma begins to wake up. What the heck is this kid anyway? Some kind of alien? Oolong's pretty sharp. He's a Saiyan. Your legs are short. Shut up! Like you can talk! Whoa, it's like watching a super realistic anime! What? Something wrong? I can't stand up properly. Your tail is gone, so it's probably messing up your balance. You'll get used to it. Huh? Tail? Ah! It's gone! Goku, just like in the anime, realizes quickly that his tail has been removed. Oh well. <laughs> like this? You're pretty laid back about this. I can live without my tail. But where's my power pole? Probably buried in the remains of that building. Oh man, I'm totally Yamcha. Some time passes, and Goku retrieves his power pole. Hey Sonkun, we're going to the city. Wanna come with us? You're totally cute, so the girls will love you. I'm gonna see the old turtle hermit. I'm gonna keep training and become really strong. I see. Too bad then. Are you coming along, Oolong? 
West City. Can't wait to see it. We can gather the Dragon Balls again next year. <laughs> we don't need the Dragon Balls anymore. Right? This is the first time I've ever been like this with a girl. Right, let's get going. I've always wanted to throw one of these. <laughs> Bye, Goku. I'll see you at the Tenkaichi Budokai. Tenka what? We'll all meet up again sometime. As Yamcha waves off Goku, a sudden memory comes to mind. <coughs> Yamcha re-envisions his future death at the hands of the Saiyans. I forgot about that. Are you feeling okay? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Can I just quit fighting? It's not like I'm ever going to win. But I guess not even Yamcha can avoid that battle. Thinking about it, isn't this a turning point for Yamcha? If I go with Goku to train of the Turtle Hermit, I may become stronger. Yeah, I can change the future. I can discard the chains of being a loser character. If I just do my best, now, I can become the strongest Earthling. Saiyans are hacks. Hey, hey Yamcha? I'm sorry Bulma-san. I'm not coming to West City. <laughs> but please, wait for me. I'll become really strong and come back for you. Bulma completely confused by Yamcha's mannerisms. Uh, sure. Goku, can I come with you? Fine by me. Ah, uh, it'll probably fall straight through. Can I hold on to you? You know about the flying Nimbus? Look after yourself, Goku. See ya, Oolong. Can I really make this work as Yamcha? <laughs> and so, a young man familiar with the Dragon Ball world has been reborn as Yamcha. What will become of him? Many years passed by, and the reborn Yamcha had to face his moment of truth. <laughs> the Saiyans Vegeta and Nappa have finally arrived. Standing ready to face the Z-Fires are a group of Cybermen. <laughs> a reborn Turtle Hermit trained Yamcha stands before them. There's six of you, the same number as our Cybermen. Interesting. How about this? You can each fight one of our foot soldiers. Hey, Vegeta! We can stop the stupid game. I'll handle them all on my own. Bring on all six of them! Don't be so reckless, Yamcha! Just watch and learn, Krillin. Don't get cocky. Guys like you just become trash on the battlefield. <laughs> we'll grant his request. All Cybermen, attack! <laughs> As the Cybermen approach, a cool, calm and collected Yamcha gets into fighting sorts. Yeah! <laughs> what? What do you Cybermen think you're doing? If you can't win, you know what you have to do. <laughs> Just like before, all of the Cybermen attach to Yamcha, ready to self-destruct. <laughs> the Z-Files look on shocked at the massive explosion. Good. Nicely done. I can't believe they... They just exploded! Yamcha san! However, standing practically unfazed is the reborn Yamcha. Don't worry, Krillin. It'll take more than that to beat me. Haha! <laughs> That's our Yamcha san! That jerk! What kind of training allowed him to withstand that? Right! I've cleared the trial of the Cybermen. I went through a lot to make it past today. The scene cuts to Guru on planet Namek, where Yamcha travelled on his own 
to get his power unlocked. Truly, knowing the story in advance is a huge weapon. <laughs> And that was the end of part one of this story. If you made it this far in the video, leave me a hashtag Yumpcho in the comments down below and your thoughts on the story so far. Don't forget to leave a like too and make sure to watch one of these two videos on the right, especially the Goku and Kefla training video as the next part to that will be out very soon. Until next video guys, cheers.